For this special edition of Food Hall Friday, we are in Orlando, Florida, going to Universal City, uh, <laughs> Universal Studios, and we're going to try all of the Harry Potter themed food items. Butterbeer. I don't know what else they're going to have, to be honest. Butterbeer. Oh, they do have warm butterbeer for this holiday season. Ooh, special edition. Yes. So hungry, let's go! First off, I want to talk about the thing I wanted to taste most. That's butterbeer. It does not disappoint. I just have to say that throughout the day though, you definitely can't keep drinking it because it's too sweet. To me, it tastes a little like root beer and caramel. Mm. To me, it tastes like caramel and cream soda. Oh, I never had cream soda. Maybe that's more correct. For the holiday season that we're here, they have a special warm one, so we have yet to try that. <laughs> Drinks were super good, so you gotta try the pumpkin juice, the frozen butter, or no. Oh, actually don't try the frozen butter beer, because that was too frozen that it literally gave us brain freezes. It's or, too know, much. Drink responsible. Yeah, but then I do think that just the regular frozen, or the regular butter beer has a stronger flavor, so then like, why yeah. go for one that has less flavor? But if you want to try the frozen one, be sure to mix it, because you're not gonna get all the flavors. Yeah, if unless it's hot, then I'm drinking. But you know, when things are closer to your body temperature, you can taste the taste of whatever you're yeah. So I have to say that the food, uh, it's not really my uh, cup of tea. Because it's like a little on the heavy side, and it's like... It's very basic, yeah. right? Um, but then they try to incorporate as much stuff as they can, I guess, into like the British way. Right? But it could be more like a wizardy, you know? Yeah, but then the drinks were on point though. Like yeah, the, the, the drinks were all wizardy themed, I guess. It's just like, the, I mean, it's it's like they have typical like rotisserie chicken, smoked turkey leg, and you know, um, a rack of like, and a lot of pies. Yeah. So then I think that the Leaky Cauldron food it has a more twist or more um, thoughts into um, wizarding food. Because there's a lot of pies, there's like a toad thing, and then um, some British stuff. Yeah. Rather than just the three broomsticks where it's just like American food, like chicken fingers, um, fish, fish and, and chips. chips. You know, like just basic things that you can find probably in your hometown. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, theme park food is theme park food, so it's only okay. But overall, I mean, I still enjoyed it, you know, yeah. it, it's just like, in my expectation reality ideal world i would want something more like oh i need to get that and that's the thing that i've set my mind on i was kind of like oh should i get a rotisserie chicken or just like you know you know what it is it's that if it had a gimmick some mm -hmm. harry potter or wizard gimmick then it's more forgiving for it to be whatever food i guess sort of like leaky culture but we're, we're going with them and with a little too high expectations because like the Pokemon Cafe, bad food, huge gimmick, so it's okay. This one is okay food, no or little gimmick. Yeah. And it's day two. Check out my day two socks. Gryffindor. See you guys in the next one. Thanks. Later.